All right, we have technology switched over. Hopefully you are catching us live and it's working okay. Give us a few comments so we know that you're back on with us and we've got our technology up and rolling for you. We're having a little bit of trouble with our internet connection, so we apologize for the glitch. Again, this is bar class, so it's a combination of Pilates, yoga, and ballet. So we'll be doing a warm-up, we'll be doing core, we'll be doing a lot of leg work today. We have slow intentional movements, so you're going to get in tune with your body for strengthening, stretching, elongating, toning, and sculpting. So if you are ready, we're gonna get the music going. I like to have a chair, so I normally do bar barefoot. That's completely up to you. If you're at home, you want to do it on your carpeting. If you're on a floor, you, it's much easier to be barefoot on a mat. And normally when we're in class, we use two mats, and we have a chair with us. So if you have those things, great. Also, a set of light weights. I like to use three pounds when I do bar. If you don't have weights at home, you can use 15-ounce cans or 28-ounce cans of fruits or vegetables of your choice. So, if you are ready, we're going to start with some warm-up here. So, we're just going to start with our chair, and we're going to go up and down. We're just going to go up on our toes, keeping our tummy in nice and tight, squeezing through the glutes, keeping the chest tall. Think about a string that lifts you straight up and down. Straight up and down. So when we start bar, we normally warm up our feet and our legs first. Keep this going. We got three, two, let's hold this up and bring it down. We're gonna take the foot out wide and slide it in. So your heel is coming to your heel. Toe out, slide the heel in. Toe out. Now I don't know the positions of dance, so some of you know whether this is position one, two, three, four, or five. I'm sorry, like I said, I'm not a dancer. So just do the best you can and bear with me. We're here to have fun and have a workout, because if it's not fun, why do it, right? We got three, and two, and one. Now take this leg out. We're gonna just twist it just a little bit, rotating through the hips as well. Keep this tummy nice and tight, keep the chest tall. And we're gonna go to the other side. So I'm gonna turn so you can see me. Toe out, pull the heel in. Toe out, pull the heel in. Toe out, pull the heel in. Just nice and slow, we're just warming up, friends. So if you're just jumping on, thank you for joining us today. We got three, and two, and one. We're gonna hang on to our chair, and we're gonna lift. Lift, this is just one leg. I want you to point your toe. Keep your chest tall, tummy nice and tight. This is nice and slow. This is not a kick, it's a lift and lower. So point that toe so it tightens the leg. It's almost like having a weight on your leg. Keep the tummy nice and tight. Here's three, two, we're gonna take it right to the back and lift, nice and slow. Bending over, again, you can use your chair or you can release and go without the chair, whatever you're comfortable with. Keep that toe pointed to keep that nice and straight. We've got three, two, we're gonna bring it back to the front. We've got one, two, three, four. To the back, one, two, three, four. To the front, one, two, three, four. To the back, one, two, three, four. One more time, one, two, Three. Take it back to the last time. Two, three, four. Let's switch legs. One, two. Nice, tight. Tummy's tight. Point the toe. Keep that chest tall. 
We're going to take it back behind us in three, two, and one. Here we go. Bend right over and lift. Point that toe. Keep that leg nice, strong, and straight. We're going to bring it to the front in three, two, and one. Bring it to the front for four, three, two, one to the back. One, two, three, four to the front. One, two, three, four to the back. To the front. Keep that tummy tight, chest tall. Let's take it to the back. Two, three, four to the front for the last round. Let's take it to the back. Here we go. Now we're going to turn towards the chair. Our feet are together. We're just going to bend our knees, going into a squat. You're going to feel this pull right up the back of your legs, your Achilles, your calves. Again, chest is tall, tummy's tight. Just dropping into the knees. Your feet are nice and close together. So we're not pushing the hips back in a normal squat. We're, we're going into a plie type squat where our knees are going forward just slightly. We've got three, two, and one. Now take a leg back and just roll that ankle. Roll that ankle. Roll it. Now the other direction. Make a circle with it. Now flip it over to the side and forward. Side and forward. So just turn it to the side just so your ankles are nice and loose. Let's do the other leg. Take it back. And you can roll it. Making a circle. Other direction. Now again, you can take that ankle side to side. Just flip it over. We're going to go to our next move with a side leg raise. Side leg raise. Now this is keeping the hips forward, pointing the toe out front. Your hip is a natural stop here. If you turn out, you lift the leg much higher. We don't want that. We want your toes to point forward. So it's like a pendulum. And your hip is your natural stop. Because you can only lift so high. Now we're going to take it to the side. One. So we're at an angle this time. Back out to the side. Here we go. Two, three, four to the side. Here we go. Back out. Up front. To the side. Here we go for four. Three, two, one. Last one to the front. One, two, three. And four. I'm going to swap my chair. You can just turn if you need to. Or if you don't need a chair, that's fine. Let's keep it going on this side. Again, the toes are pointing forward. We're pushing through that heel. Chest stays tall. Knees tight. Your hip is your natural stop. We're going to bring it to the front in an angle in three, two, and one. Here we go. We're going to the side in three, two, one for a count of four. One, two, three, four to the front. One, two, three, four. Stay with us. One, two, Three, four to the front. One, two, 
three, four to the side, last time, three, four to the front, one, two, three, four, take it to the chair again, and plie, and plie, keep that chest tall. Now I want you to keep your heels together and turn your toes out. So just turn your toes out, keeping your heels together. Now this is a little bit different plie. So our knees are going to track over our second toe. They're going out. You won't get as deep in your squat this time, and you're not meant to. We're loosening up all through the hips and the legs, keeping the tummy tight, chest is tall. This is your chance to be a dancer. We got three, two, hold this one down, just hold, hold it. Now bring the arms way up tall, elongating through the midsection, keep the hips turned under, feel it through those legs, arms come out to the side and hold. We're going to pop a heel, 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 heel. Heel. So you're popping a heel, alternating side to side. Still with me, okay? Hang in there. Bar is a lot of leg work. You'll feel this tomorrow. We're going to try doubles in three and two and one. Here we go. Up and down. Heels, so pop the heels, come on the toes. Take your time with these. Keep those heels together. Keep that chest tall. I know we have a tendency to look down. Your feet are going to stay right where they are, I promise. You won't lose them. Woo! Starting to really loosen up now. We've got three, two, and one. Now we're going to take it a little bit wider. So I like to go to the edges of my mat. Again, my toes are going to turn out a little bit. So we're going to drop into a squat. We're going to go up on our toes. We're going to go tall in a releve and drop the heels. So we're going to squat, toes, up, heels. 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 Keep it nice and strong. Tummy's tight the whole time. Chest remains tall. Squat, toes, up, heels. Squat, toes, up, heels. We got three more. Squat, toes, up, Heels, give me one more. Now hold it tall. Hold it tall, way up on those toes. Here we go, here's our balance challenge. Here's one hand. Get ready to release with the second hand. If you can, hold it on the toes and reach. And reach, come on, way up stilettos, ladies. You remember those. Three, two, and one. Bring it down nice and slow. Now I like to do another move to loosen the hips. So this is just a swing. You're going in front of your stability leg and you're just swinging the hip through. I really want you loose through the hip and the lower back. So get a leg up, woo! You got this. Let us know you're still out there. Let us know the connection's good for you. Give us some thumbs up. If you're having any troubles, give us some comments so we know. We got three. We got two. We've got one. We'll go right to the other side. Here we go. Swing that leg. Really loosen through the hips. I brush the bottom of my foot on the mat as I come through. Keeping the leg straight forward and back. This rotation and the swing is going to loosen you through those hips. Keep that tummy tight. Don't collapse on me. 
Come on, you got this. We got three and two and last one. Here we go. All right, how are we doing? Everybody good? All right. We're going to step back a little bit away from the chair. We're going to do a few more squats here. We're a little bit away from the chair now. Knees are forward. Feet are together. Keep that chest nice and tall. Tummy's drawn in tight. Let's release and use the hands for balance. We're gonna take a step to be shoulder width apart in three and two and one. So just a natural stance, shoulder width. Now down and toes. Hold it and come down and toes. Squat it back this time. We're pushing the hips back and we're reaching tall as we go on the toes. You gotta feel this in your calf muscles. Remember it's the calf muscles that takes the blood back up to your heart. They've gotta be strong. Push it back, arms out wide, tummy tight. Way up on those toes. Here's three and two. Hold this one up, hold it, find your balance. Find your balance. Come on, you got this. For three and two and one, bring it down. All right. So we're gonna get into a little bit more heavier on the legs. Hopefully you're ready. We're gonna take a step back from the chair. So pushing back, and I like to extend my arms so I create a flat back. By having my hips back, my legs are straight. My ears are right near my elbows and I'm looking down to the floor. This is gonna stretch your shoulders as well as your calf and your hamstrings right up through your glutes. Draw the belly button into spine and hold. Really let the head drop so you can get a good stretch through those shoulders. We carry a lot of stress in those big muscles, our glutes as well as our neck and shoulders. Bring it up, just lean forward. Keeping your heels on the floor, get a stretch up the back leg. Push it back. Nice stretch through the shoulders. Push it forward. Strong straight back. We stretch as we go through bar. We don't just work, work, work. We also stretch throughout the workout. Push it back. Be in tune with your muscles. Listen to your body. Where are you tight? What needs work? Where do you need to stretch a little bit more? Breathe into that area. Concentrate your oxygen into that area. Mind-body connection. We're going to push you back one last time, and we're going to hold here. So we're going to do some leg movements from here. We're going to stretch the leg out behind us strong and straight. So we want it parallel with the floor. Our toe is pointed. We're just going to tap and lift. Tap and lift. Now if you feel you're strong enough and your balance will allow it, you can do this without holding the chair. It's completely up to you. It's your workout. Just keep that tummy in nice and tight. Keep that stability leg strong and straight. That's eight, we've got four more. Here's four, three, two. Now hold it up. Hold it up. We're gonna take the same leg and tap it crossing behind us. Tap, lift, tap straight down. Lift, 
cross and tap, lift, tap straight down. Cross and tap, lift, tap straight down. Here we go. You got it now. Keep that leg strong and straight. We got two more. Last one. Keep the leg up strong and straight. Strong and straight. Woo! I know. Feel it. Feel it. Where is it tight? Three, two, one. Bring it down nice and slow. Oh, let's walk those legs a little bit. I'm going to turn my chair so you can see the other side. You can leave your chair right where it is. I just want you to be able to see my leg. So again, we're going back strong and straight. Strong and straight. Ears by the elbows. Fall right through. Shoulder stretch here. We're going to push forward, keeping the heels on the floor. Strong and straight. Push it back. Really get that stretch right up through the hamstrings and the glutes. Let your shoulders loosen. Push it forward. Keep the heels on the floor. Strong and straight. Tighten the glutes. We gotta push it back one last time. We're gonna lift the opposite leg. So this should be your opposite leg. Strong and straight. Point. It, point it. Tummy's in tight. Here we go. We're going to tap and lift. Tap and lift straight up and down. Again, if you feel that you're strong enough and your balance is good enough, you can do this without hanging on to the chair. Maybe you're hanging on to the countertop or the table. That works as well. Keep that tummy in tight. We've got four more. Last one. Hold it up. That's it. Point that toe. Again, we're going to take this behind the other leg and tap and lift. Tap straight down. Up. Cross and tap. Lift. Tap straight down. Cross and tap. Lift. Here we go. Here's one. And two. Where's your tummy? Nice and tight. Three. Got two more. Last one. Hold it up strong and straight. For three, two, and one. Release it. Bring it down. Walk the dog a little bit. Loosen up through the hips. Woo! We're going to grab a drink real quick. How's everyone doing? Let us know. Everybody good? Can you hear us okay? Just give us some feedback. We appreciate it. So this next move is going to be a hydrant. It's a standing hydrant. For those of you that want to do it on the floor, you can come down on the floor and do the same move. But I like the standing and bar because we have the chair as our balance. So we're going to step back, bend the knee, and it's going to come up parallel to the floor. So your inner thigh is pointing to the floor, and you're going to come down knee to knee. It's like a pendulum. Are you ready? Here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got eight more. Eight, seven. Get that leg up. Six, five, four, three, two. Let's hold this up. Let's hold this up. Let's hold this up. Where's your leg? Is your inner thigh pointing to the floor, or is it way down here? Bring it up, bring it up. Come on, you can do this. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Kick it back and hold. Bring it back up. Hold. Come on. Fight for it. This
This is where it starts, outside your comfort zone. We only get change outside our comfort zone. Push your back and hold. Now we're going to bring the knee all the way up to the shoulder, along the outside of the body, and kick it back. So we're up and back, up and back. This is so we can get the obliques. If you're doing this on the floor, it's the same move. Keeping that leg going, riding right up along the outside of the body. Keep that tummy tight. Keep it going. You got four. You might feel this in your stability leg. Three. One more. Extend and hold. Now we're going to go for a balance challenge. Can you release the chair here and do an airplane? Find your balance. We're here for four. Three. Two. Now bring the knee forward nice and slow. Try and hold your balance. Hands over head. Knee above the waist. Hold it. Bring the hands to heart center. Hold it. Great job, guys. Kick it back for airplane one more time. Nice and slow. Hold your balance. We're right here for four, three, two, and one. Bring that leg down. How'd you do? Okay. Woo! I am dripping. I'm swapping my chair so you can see my working leg. You guys can stay just as you are and swap sides. How are you doing? Everybody good? All right, we got the other side. All right. Again, we're going to stretch it back for a second here to get that stretch. Lean it forward. Keep the heels on the floor. Push it back. Really stretch through those shoulders. Bring it forward. Keep the back strong and straight. Tummy tight. Push the hips back. Now here, this is where we're going to bend our knee. We're getting ready for that hydrant. Again, if you want to do it on the floor, it's the same thing. So your knee is going to come up, so your inside of your thigh is pointing to the floor. Otherwise, we're doing it standing, hanging onto the chair or the counter. Are you ready? Bend that knee. It's a pendulum movement. We start in three, two, and one. Here we go. One. Lift it way up. Way up. Keep the trunk quiet. So it's the leg that's moving, not the whole upper body. We got eight more. Get that leg way up. Come on, fight for it. Four, three, two. Hold this one up. Hold it up. Hold it up. You can do this. You can do this. I know you got to breathe through it. You got to breathe through it. You want that booty, you gotta work for it. It starts here. Kick it back and hold. Kick it back and hold. Bring it up and hold. Kick it back one more time and hold. Now again, the knee's gonna come up by the shoulder out along the outside of the body so we can get the obliques. Here we go. Here's one and back. Two and back. Keep that leg way up high. You got this. I know the bomb is kicking in. We got four. Woo. You got three. You got two. Kick it back and hold. And try that airplane. Get ready. Find your balance. Release when you're ready. Great job. Now bring the knee forward nice and slow. Don't let it touch the floor. Control. Bring the knee way up front above the waist. Hands above the head. Hold it up. 
Bring the hands to heart center, nice and slow. Hold it up. Tummy's tight. Kick it back to airplane, nice and slow. Try not to lose your balance. Hold it. We're here for four. And three. And two. And one. Great job. Bring it down. Woo! How are we feeling? Everybody good? Grab a drink if you need it. So if you have your hand weights, I want you to grab your hand weights. So we're going to face forward on the mat. We're going to be about a wide as a width of a mat would be, so it's a little bit wider than hip width. I want you to turn your toes out to the corner of the room. The weights are in your hands with the palms up. I want you to pin your elbows to your side. Now elongate through the chest, through the tummy, the midsection. We're going down in a squat and we're coming. Just hold those weights with the palms of your hands up. Nice and slow. So your knees are tracking over your second toe, your chest remains tall, and you're going down in that squat. Nice and deep in this, our legs are wide enough which allows us to drop deeper into that squat. Keep that chest tall. Let those muscles work, connect to your body, feel them, feel them working. We got three more. Here's three. Here's two. We're going to hold this last one right here. Uh huh. Now, arms. Arms. A W. A W. Push them out. Bring the elbows into the midsection. Woo! Come on, you got a little shoulder work to do now. Hand work. If you don't have weights, get those cans. Water bottles. Hang on to those weights. Wrap the hands right around them. Three, two, one. Hold it out. Now we've turned the palms to the floor. We're still in that squat position. Legs are going to kick in. A palm heel. Bring the weights forward. Take them wide. Take them down. Bring them up. Forward, wide, and down. Up, forward, wide, and down. Keep that tummy tight. Keep that chest tall. That heel is popped just on the one leg. Whew. Don't forget to breathe. Here's four. Here's three. Here's two. Nice and slow. Don't go fast on me. Last one. Drop that heel, straighten the legs. That's your break. Drop back down. Arms are up, up the other heel. Forward, wide, and down. Up, forward, wide, and down. Up, forward, wide, and down. Tummy's nice and strong and tight. Squeeze those glutes just a little bit so those hips stay turned under. That heel is popped. You're allowing the other leg. Woo! How are we doing? Here's six. We can do more. Seven. Give me one more. Last one. Hold it wide. Now stand tall. Hold it wide for three, two, one, and down. Give those shoulders a roll. Woo! Little burn going on there. Okay, I gotta get my mic wire back here. Now this time, again, we're gonna be a little bit wider than hip width. We're standing straight this time. The weights are gonna come in the front, palms are out. And we're gonna circle overhead, and they're gonna stay the palms out. So we're going under and over, under and over. Turn your toes out this time. Here we go. Tall legs, but your toes are out. This is a good 
shoulder exercise. This is why we use weights. Nice. Now, feel those muscles work. Be connected to your body. Keep that tummy in tight. We've got four more. Here we go. Here's four. And three. And two. And one. Bring it all the way down. Nice. Okay. We're going to serve it up and pull it in. So we've got a bent knee. We're pushing our hips back. And we're pulling the weights back along our rib cage. So pull them in. Palms are up. Pull them in. If you feel you want heavier weights at this point, feel free. It's your workout. You can do whatever you want. If you don't want to use weights, just keep the movement going. Make a fist and pull. Make a fist and pull. You get the same action. Weights add a little dimension to it. Making it a little bit harder. So you create the intensity level you want by the weights that you carry. So if it's three, five, or eight pounds, it's up to you. Here's three, and two, and one. Nice. Give those shoulders a roll. Taking a wide stance this time. Hold on to your weights. We've got to go overhead. So be easy with this, because this weight's going to catch you off guard when you first start. Don't let it pull you. Control it. Control it. Control it. Control it. We got one more each side. Now we're going to turn right to this leg. Keep your weights. And we're going to drop. So we are in a lunge position. I have a straight leg at the moment. My foot is forward in the front. I'm going to bend this back knee and drop straight down. So it's a static lunge. So we're down and up. We're not moving the back leg. We've got our weights down and up. Down and up. By nice and slow, drop deeper into this. Keep that chest tall and drop and lift. Drop and lift. Drop and lift. Drop and lift. Keep this going. Come on, nice and slow. Be intentional. Get that back leg down. Make sure this knee is over the ankle. It's not going up over the toes in the front. Keep those shoulders back. Here's three. And lift. Two. And lift. Last one. Lift and hold. Lift and hold. Turn towards me. We're going to take the weights right down. Keep the legs straight. Go way down in that stretch. Release that lower back. Release the weights here. Take your hands to your lower back. Drop your head. Now you can interlace your fingers. Bring them over your head. Get a nice stretch right here. Toes are pointing forward, not out to the sides. Nice deep breath. Release the hands wide, slide them in, grab your weights, rotate to the other direction. That puts you in that lunge position. Your foot is forward in the front, straight leg in the back. We're going to bend the knee to drop into that lunge. Make sure that this knee does not go out over the toe, so this leg has to be out far enough. Are we ready? We start in three, two. Here we go. Here's down and up. Get really low in these. Nice and slow. Down and up. Exhale on the up. That's the difficult part on this move. So we exhale on up. Keep the shoulders back. Roll them back if you have to. Tummy's tight. Four more. Here's four. And three. And two. Last one. 
hold it up, turn center again, go all the way to the floor, drop the weights, let the head go all the way to the floor, or as low as you can get it. Take the hands to the lower back. You can interlace your fingers and let them fall over your head. Get your stretch. Toes are pointing forward. Let the hands drop wide. Sure. Pull in. We got to do an audio check here. Hopefully you can still hear me. I might have disconnected. I'm usually. <laughs> Should, be good. Should be good. If not, let us know, friends, okay? We're going down on our hands and knees here. So, we have the light weights again. We're going to take them out wide. Now we're going to go into a T format. So you've got the elbows bent, weights, palms are facing forward, and we're going to bring the shoulders together, open and close. And up to the floor and up tall to the floor and up and up and up. Keep it going, keep it going. Breathe through it. Almost there. Here's four. right down in there. We're going to bring it up and we're going to go on the side here. So we've got our bottom leg bent. We're on full extension on our arm. We're going to point the toe and we're going to bring it forward and back. Forward and back. Point the toe. Forward and back. So you're up on not sitting back. You're up forward on this leg. This is your stability leg. Forward and back. This is also going to work the tummy as well as the leg. Push away from the floor and bring it forward and back. Point that toe. Strong and straight. Strong and straight. You've got this. You've got this. Yeah, it's going to burn. It's supposed to. That's why we do it, right? Keep it going. Here we go. And three. And two. Last one. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Bring it forward and hold. Four. Three. Two. One. This side. Four. Three. Two. One. Front. Four. Three. Two. One. To the side. Four. Three. Two. One and bring it down. We're gonna swap sides. Go right to the other side and bottom. I kick my weights out of the way. Leg is straight. Both on our hand, on the toe, forward and back, forward 
and back. Bring the legs straight, right through. Keep your tummy straight as well as your legs. You feel this in the outer thigh. You may feel it in the hip. You may feel it in the glutes. You should also feel it in the core. Keep that leg up. Don't let it hit the floor. Come on. For this. You got this. Strong. 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 Four. And three. And two. Last one. Hold it up. Four. Three. Two. One. To the front. Four. Three. Two. One. To the front. Four. Three. Two. One. To the front. Four. Thank you. 